This is uh, a good example of like a vignette scene, how we're trying to tell some story in game. Uh, there's no traditional cutscenes in here. We have basically uh, a bunch of soldiers here and a bunch of props that are just kind of you know lying around, just kind of waiting for us to add animations and stuff to. So if I go through uh, this door here, this is a good space where I work with the artist in uh, describing like what we could do with this room here because it was just a block essentially before. Um, so we wanted to make a room where um, all the really wounded uh, Autobot soldiers are being put into these stasis chambers where they can come back and then uh, retrieve them later. So I have my temp optimus right here. This is where my the player will walk into and then it'll initiate a sort of a mini little cutscene here. Um, all our actors are being hooked up to this here including my camera, so I know if I go in here, I can start scrubbing through it. I can highlight, this is uh, an audio cue here. I can, um, you know, scrub through the walkthrough, do their, their emotes and stuff. Each of these blue lines here are animations that are plugged in. Each of these boxes here are characters, including my camera. And the green ones are the dialogue, so if I scrub through, I can just have them play their uh, animation. Essentially, you can come in here, you have to initiate with this first guy, this interact with this first guy. After that, Everything else is completely optional. You don't need to talk to any of these dudes at all. Nothing is uh, um, like any objective except for Ratchet, who creates this gate for you. So all this nonsense over here is Ratchet, essentially. All this stuff. So you go from Ratchet calls you over and then waits. Uh, then you hit the next trigger, and then he puts you he puts him on the table for you. Um, and then he uh, you help out. You press a button. So I have all of these things right here. So this is display message right here. So this tells me that you press this button, it will initiate all these other uh, boxes here, manate boxes. So starting here, I know if I hit this trigger here, it's going to make the lights flicker. You over here, it's going to cause him to wave you over. And then you get close enough, it kind of just sucks you in. <coughs> and I have this dialogue here. And you can move the camera. I made sure I, I can, you know, make it fill in game as much as possible. You press the button that initiates the next group of animations and whatnot, the camera, um, and then he's like, hey, I need you to do this. You go to an idle, and then until you press this button here, then it, it goes to the next animation, um, which triggers his animation, his animation, his animation, and the new camera. Um, and then we start playing everything else. The lights go on, and I blend, I just seamlessly blend in. There's no cuts whatsoever, and I'm in-game as this thing's still kind of ending up.